today we're diving into MathLink Cubes, an incredibly versatile resource that supports so many mathematical concepts through hands-on engaging activities. If you're looking for a way to develop problem solving, pattern recognition and even geometry in your lessons, this tool is a must-have. I'll show you three practical ways to use the MathLink Cubes across early years, year one and key stage two to help children excel in math. So what are MathLinks cubes? These are colourful interlocking cubes that can be used to represent numbers, build structure and also explore mathematical concepts visually and physically. They're perfect for connecting abstract ideas to concrete understanding. There are so many ways to use the MathLink cubes in your lessons, but I'll share three of my favourites from across the key stages. First up, let's look at how MathLink cubes can be used in the early years to build number sense, understanding that numbers can be represented in different ways and early counting skills. At this stage, it's all about exploration and building confidence with number. Start by giving children the opportunity to play with the multi-link cubes, building them apart, building them back together to build numbers, and this allows them to build that understanding of number through touch and play. Now we're going to explore one of my favourite activities for helping children understand the representation of number and how we can still have the same number but it can look different. So you're going to get your child to pick a number, so here we've got five, and they're going to build up cubes into five. So here we've got a simple tower, and then you're going to get them to keep going and explore different ways of making five in different shapes and keep getting them to check that they've got five. One, two, three, four, five. And there's another way of representing five. Now let's see how MathLink cubes can support learning in year one. One key focus at this stage is understanding number bonds to 10 and developing fluency in addition and subtraction. Pair this activity with a part, part, whole diagram. So they're going to bring in their cubes, our whole was our 10, and then they can explore putting the two parts into the two circles and the two parts. And then we want to really emphasise the vocabulary of six is a part, four is a part, and 10 is the whole, and really focus on that vocabulary. Some children may need to work at it with breaking down the whole 10 and physically moving them. So breaking them apart, saying six is apart, four is apart, and then physically moving them back to 10 is the whole. And then once we have been able to use the cubes to make the part part holes, we can translate that into the numeral. So you can have this alongside the cubes, that six is apart, write the numeral in, four is apart, and then 10 is our whole. Finally, let's explore how MathLink cubes can be used with year two into key stage two for children to develop skills in multiplication. For multiplication, we can start to create arrays. So for example, if we were to ask the children to build three rows of four and place them together alongside each other to create that array, Ask them to count. If they need to, they can count one by one and find out that they've got 12 all together. And then we can relate that into how we're going to record it as repeated addition and multiplication. Moving on to the recording, we're going to look at the repeated addition first. So we have got the four, add four, add four equals 12. And then if we move into how we record it as our multiplication, we have got our three rows of four equals 12. And there we have it, three ways that you can use the MathLink cubes in your classroom. I hope you found them useful and stay tuned for more videos.